Hello, welcome back. We're playing Subnautica again. We are about to embark on a sort of adventure, but I just realized that there's something that I need to do before we do that, just to make our lives a little bit easier. <clears throat> we should take the time to make this storage module. So, three titanium is all we need. Just will make our lives easier, make us allow, able to carry more. So that's what we need to do. We can take our three last, our last three titaniums, uh, and then we can use that to make a storage module. Perfect. And that will um, be very quick. Already done. There we go. It's there on the other side, I think. Yep. So we've got 16 more slots. That is totally fine. All right. Okay, so what do we need? We need online. quartz. We need a lot of quartz. Oh my god, there's actually tons of quartz in here. I didn't even think. Look, we've got one glass. We've got two glass. Two and a half glass. We've got three glass. Four glass? Oh my god! Um, I think that's five glass? There's, we got one of these? Oh, yes! Um, got a gel sack for making arrow gel. We've got. More rubies. I think that's six glass. Holy shit. Amazing. We've got spooky fish. We've got... More aerogel. We can grow gel sacks. We've got seven glass. Uh... Eight glass. Now, holy shit, we didn't even need to go anywhere. However, we do need to go to the uh, blood, the um, kelp forest, because the kelp forest is where we need to go to get stalker teeth because those are what we need to make enameled glass out of regular glass. So, we can just drop off all of these lovely materials here. So much... holy crap, I can't believe we found all that right away. So we can then drop off the rubies and... shit. Um, let's just consume this lantern fruit and then drop off more rubies and deep shrooms and then a gel sack, and then um, we should be able to plant some of these seeds. Perfect. All right. Mm, yep. Oh, are we out of water? Oh. <sighs> Um, tree spawn? What the hell? Um, how are we gonna get water? I think we actually need... Um, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up all the salt we see along the way. And then we're gonna stop at the escape pod and use the escape pod to make some bleach because there's co coral nearby where the escape pod is. Every salt we pick up will give us two disinfected waters. Uh, each disinfected water restores 30 thirst points. Um, so that's 60 thirst points per salt. And 
Oh, there's thir there's lithium. Two of them right there. Beautiful. There's more salt. That's not salt, but more lithium. Amazing. Okay. So, this way. Beautiful. That should give us plenty of water for the future. Um, the other alternative, of course, would be to just, if I see a coral sample, go ahead and take some samples. Or if I see a coral, take some coral samples. Ow. And then we can bring them back to the base. So we don't need to use the escape pod. If we don't want to. Is that salt? That is salt. Gimme. Alright. Off we go. Ow. Um, oh, my light. I can turn on my light. That's helpful. So, uh, oh, what's that? We can get some titanium. Nice. We're actually running out. Um, so we named our Seamoth Black Widow. Um, originally as an homage to the Marvel character, but at this point, it seems like it's more like an actual Black Widow spider because I made it black and red. And it just feels super badass to have um, to have a sea moth called Black Widow, and it looks like a Black Widow. So I think I'm changing my mind. It's no longer a Marvel reference. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, retconning that. So I hope that's okay with everybody. Rabbit Ray. Oh, let's just scan this. Okay. And we can continue on in the direction of... Whoa! That's the surface. There's a thing. Hooray! One, two, three, four... How many salts do we have? Five. Five! So there's our water situation taken care of. Um... Shit. I forgot the other reason why we came out here. Help me, please. I have a terrible memory. Um, we want some food, right? I guess we can just eat lantern fruits. Oh yeah, we want these. No, not that. Uh, we want those for batteries. Uh, we want table coral. Because who knows how many goddamn computer chips we're gonna have to make. Uh, and for some reason they require table table coral, which is a non-renewable. So we're just gonna have to pick up as many of those as we can. Oh god! <clears throat> I know that's not an oxygen alert. It's just making me realize the urgency of the situation. That is 430 meters away. That's fine. We can make it. Um, okay, so the other reason we were out here was to find... Ah, yes, stalker teeth, right. So, if we can find some stalkers... There are actually probably just stalker teeth all over the ground. And I just need to look carefully. Yeah, like... Like right here. Surely. This is a place where there would be lots of stalker teeth. Just on the ground. Because they, they drop their teeth when they pick this stuff up. It's like it, they rip their own teeth out. Being aggressive. Playing with metal. Trying to be stronger than metal. Do 
Do you drop your teeth? Come on, buddy. I know you wanna. Show me how you drop your teeth. No? Stop it. I want your teeth. No? Come on. No? I could have sworn. No, I'm certain of it. That's how you get it. That's how you get stalker teeth. Well, I'm going to die of thirst, so I should continue on toward the escape pod and make me some water. Thirst. Ow. Uh. Ow. That actually really hurts. Vital signs stabilizing. That actually really hurts. I need to now bandage myself to recover from dying of thirst. That makes perfect sense. <sighs> okay. I've got plenty of that. Yeah, it still takes stalker teeth. Um, maybe it'll be easier to find stalker teeth out in the open. Whoops, I just killed that thing. Poor bladder fish. There should be tons of teeth right here. containment because if I have the alien containment then I can hatch stalker eggs and then have maybe friendly stalkers and then I can just drop this metal salvage outside my base and they'll just play with it all the time that seems reasonable hey cut it out play more with this Maybe the stalker teeth don't spawn because these guys are playing, like, for the most part, outside of my, like, loaded zone. Maybe we can still find some? There's a second stalker egg. I guess it makes a noise.
Where did it go? I need more than just the one. Come on, stalker boy. Do it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, crap. It's a good thing we have this. Yeah, I guess maybe you just have to wait long enough. And they don't drop teeth when they're outside of your zone. do I need? Probably like four or five. You can do it. I'll just look around some more. There's probably some laying around. Uh... Where is it? Aha! Nice. How many do I have? Four. Let's wait for one more. Maybe two. Maybe we can just find a couple more? Snap. Maybe over here again? Ow! Stop it! It's not nice. Aha! There's one. I think at most we just need one more. Is there one here? No. Aha! Okay. Ow! Stop it. Okay, I think we're good. Um, so that gives us all the enameled glass we might need, and um, let's see. To make the to make the plasteel and guts, we needed was it a was it a titanium ingot and um, lithium, or was it something else? Hmm. Oh, nothing. Uh. I'm just thinking now if I see another. giant sh shell coral thing. I should take some more samples. Just take as many as will fill my inventory. Ooh. Whoa! That was fucking wild. Holy shit. 
can't believe I just destroyed the entire thing. What the hell? Alright. I guess that's what happens. Alright. Uh, should be good. Now we can go back. Okay. So, we accomplished our goals. What is that? There's a lithium sitting on top of this thing. Great. So now that we've accomplished our goals, we can go back and we can maybe make um, the Cyclops, actually. We might be able to make it. So then, if we make the Cyclops, and if we make uh, the depth upgrades for the Seamoth, then the Seamoth might be able to go down to 500 meters, and the Cyclops can go down to like 700 meters or something at max? I don't remember. But the prawn suit goes the deepest. But if we want to get the prawn suit, then we have to go to the Aurora and uh, do like that whole adventure sequence with the Aurora. Which we could do. We could definitely do that. Alright, let's grab this depth module. So that it is in our inventory. And we can go over here, just confirm what we need. A plasteel ingot, two magnetite, and enameled glass. We can also click on this. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's, well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Lithium. Okay. So they're going to come and get us, and that is definitely going to be a success. So there's no reason for us to worry about anything. Yeah. Perfect. All right. We're going to get some quartz, and we're going to make some glass. Turn that into enameled glass, like it is. <clears throat> we need a lot of it. Boring. And then we can um... Oh no! We're not gonna have enough titanium. We ran out of titanium, guys. I can't believe it. It finally happened. Alright. So now we can go to this sea moth and we can not make it. Shit. Alright, so uh, we can go to blueprints. How much does the Cyclops cost? Three enameled glass, three plasteel ingots, um, some lubricant, advanced wiring kit. How hard is it to make an advanced wiring kit? We want a wiring kit, two gold golds, and a computer chip. Do we have enough silver? Do we have any silver? We have two silver. We can make a wiring kit. And there's a gold and a computer chip, which means we need those things. Okay. So, wiring kit. And we want a computer chip which takes some copper wire, so we need to take a couple of copper and turn it into a copper wire. And then we need to make a computer chip, and then we need to make a... Oh, we need another good piece of gold, which we have. Good. And we can make that into an advanced wiring kit. And that is large. Wow, that was fairly large. So now we can check the blueprints. We have 
We need a lubricant. Do we have lubricant? I don't think we do. And we don't have any seeds either. So we can go out to our farm and conveniently just grab a seed. And then that seed becomes lubricant. Just like this. And then we are um we have three do we have three leads? Um we only we have one lead there. Do we have any more lead? We have two lead. Oh dang. Is the lead gonna be the bottleneck? Maybe. We can just quickly turn this to titanium. Uh, are we totally out? Uh, we should turn this bleach into water. So that we don't s die of thirst again. Vital signs All right. stabilizing. Uh. Uh. What are we missing? Missing. Titanium. And a lead. We need a lot of titanium and some lead. We need a lot of titanium. We need one piece of lead. How much titanium do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need two for that. And then another 30. We need 32 more titanium. Uh, let's make another locker. Um... Right there is fine. We can put all of the most valuable things in here. Let the, um... Rubies, gold, purple tablets, um, deep shrooms. Gel sacks. Lithium. Okay. Maybe lead can go in there too because it's rare. Okay. And magnetite. Okay. We have plenty of rubies. now. So now, what did I do with the bleach? It's in here. Uh, we need to turn this into water. To drink one. Bring a nutrient block. Let's use a first aid kit. Okay, we're pretty much ready. So, what are we doing? Uh, we're ready to leave. What are we trying to do? 
we want more steel. Uh, titanium, I mean. Are we going to have enough lithium? How many lithiums do we need? Need? It's two lithium per ingot. And we need four. We need eight lithium. Do we have that many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one lithium and 32 titanium. One lithium and 32 titanium. Okay, that's what we need. We can put this thing in. Alright, so on the next episode, we will go out scavenging and we will find one lithium and 32 titanium. And it will be glorious. And then we will make all of the things and it will be great. Okay, so I will see you next time. Goodbye.